Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm going up against a rank 50 guy. Uh, his name is Raymond Wilder. But today is not mainly about the gameplay. I'm kind of going to tell you guys what happened in this fight. But you guys can watch how I just destroyed this dude with one punch. No, literally, I'm one punch man today. So today I wanted to try something different. And since I'm a UFC game changer, I played this game way before it actually came out. Um, I was playing it during development, helping out with the actual progress of the game. And a lot of us that went to the event always had problems with the jab. Me personally, I love the jab from the get go. Um, some guys said that the jab didn't matter. Um, also, some guys said that the jab was a little bit too OP in certain situations, whereas though if you throw the jab with other punches, the hit reaction is just too unbearable. Some people said it wasn't bearable at all. Like some people said that when you throw the jab, like nothing really happens. Your dude just sits there and takes the punch. Now, the reason for this is this gameplay, I'm only throwing the jab just to show you guys how much damage the jab inflicts how much blood the jab can bring about, the cuts, the swelling, everything. This entire gameplay is about the jab, as well as my impressions on the game. Now, of course, playing the game pre-development and everything like that, it's like, you know, a give and take thing with me. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, this is the best game ever. And I'm not like, yo, this game whack. I'm like at that plateau where it's like, yo, this is a game where I think I could play for the entire yearly cycle. Like, that's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like for the next year or two, or however long it takes uh, UFC 3 to come out, if they drop it, I can play this game. Now, the reason for the jab is me, I like to set up my one-two punches. Now, I do work out at an MMA gym. I'm not a fighter professionally or none of that. But when I'm at the gym, the trainer is always telling me what different punches to throw. And he's always saying one-two, one, two, one, two three, two. One, two, three, one, three, one. Like, he's always letting me know what punches I need to throw. So, I'm always that guy that sticks to what I know. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm square and triangle to a fault. You feel me? So, if, without square and triangle, it's like, ah, oh, like, why am I playing it? You know what I'm saying? If I can't get a real feel for it, like I'm in training or something. So, when it came down to the jab, we were out at the event and some guy was like, hey, um, the jab just doesn't work for me. Uh, I need more hit reaction from it. And I was like, no, there's no need to have more hit reaction from a jab. Some jabs can be stronger than others, but that depends on a fighter and a strength. You don't need a hit reaction from a guy that may have like 60 to 70, you know, uh, left hand power if he's right handed. And, you know, when he when he sticks out the jab, it's like a dude head gets knocked back every single time. That's not what you need, as well as you don't need to throw a jab and it, it immediately stops whatever the other fighter is doing. I feel like, oh, you see me getting rocked, by the way. But <laughs> if a fighter throws a jab during like somebody's big wind up, that should add like a little stop or, you know, something like that. Like, did you notice how the dude just shot, shot him for a takedown and I hit him with a jab as he came in? That's what needs to happen. A, a small little stagger for when that fighter is doing a lot of like different move sets that require a lot of stamina now when it comes to the jab with the one two a lot of people can get a hit reaction out of a, out of a jab in a straight and most people get a, a hit reaction out of a jab and a, a, a hook so with me when i'm using those moves i need the jab you know some people say that oh well why don't i just shoot for a straight every single time I want to start my sequence for combos because the straight actually has more power and it reaches a longer distance. If you do that, then you kind of become, how should I say, readable, very easy to read. And fighters will end up knocking you out because they kind of know what's coming. You know, they know that the straight is coming. They know that they have to parry. But if you keep doing that, then, you know, what's the point of it? Now, from my standpoint, I feel like the jab 100% is good so far. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Now, I did rock that guy from that uppercut. That's why I backed up. I didn't want to knock him out with an uppercut. I'm going to keep throwing my jab, man. But sometimes, you know, when I'm flicking that stick, man, and I'm throwing different shots, sometimes the uppercut come, a hook might come. But I know you guys like that sprawl right there. But uh, to finish that statement about the jab, I love it. 
I want to know what you guys think about it inside the comment section. And um, my first impression of this game is that it's beautiful to me, man. Um, knockout mode is definitely a couch mode, but it needs to be put online. I feel like in the next UFC, or even if they can hopefully you know, add it in later, it needs to be online. Knockout mode online would be insane for streamers, for YouTubers, whatever the case may be, and make for amazing short videos. You know, when it's the best of five, and you know, you say, okay, well, we got the best of five, I'm streaming, or I wanna make a video, face cam, or something like that. The energy that can come from knockout mode is amazing. Now, ultimate team mode, that's one of those modes that after career mode, you need that mode because after you play the career and you beat the computer a thousand million times, you're not really going to want to play it that much, but ultimate team mode kind of gives you that same career mode feel, building your fighter up as well as being able to fight online against other fighters or single player. Now, I love the online aspect. I love, you know, getting team points, having five different fighters from female to males and, you know, just all out brawl, but I also feel like with the whole ultimate team aspect, they could have somehow had it as like fight camps or something like that, you know, whereas though you actually had a dojo or a gym or something like that and you had a bunch of different fighters fighting under one umbrella instead of just five fighters that, you know, you just have to build up and win a championship with. You know, it'd have been nice if you could say, okay, well, ultimate team, maybe I can pick my... Uh, trainer pick my coach pick my cut man you know do all have those different cards available to purchase or whatever it would just make for a more developing mode um for the live events mode that's one of those like tactical like event holding type parties where like say you have like uh six friends come over and you make a live event on ufc like the same thing as like say ufc 196 and you make that live event on the game and you guys play out the entire matches for the whole night the prelims the uh undercards main cards and the main event you play all of it and you see who can win who can't if you guys want to play the computer you want to play each other that makes for a good sit down thing it doesn't make a good mode for online so i wouldn't take it online at all um Practice and skill challenges, that's definitely something you need in UFC because this is a game that has a lot of different things to it. It doesn't just have the ground game. It just doesn't have standing, doesn't have just clinch, doesn't have just the cage. It has everything, kicks, punches, elbows, knees. Oh, my God, the whole nine, man. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, these jabs are disrespectful. I know I'm killing this guy, man, with these jabs, and that is finally it, ladies and gentlemen. He finally went down after a nice jab in the second round. So, basically, it takes about, what, uh, a round and a half to get a knockout with just jabs. Now, if you guys think that that's a little too um, underpowered, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. If you think that's a little too OP, like and maybe it should have went to the third, let me know. And also, if you think that it was just fine, that's where you would expect it. Let me know that in the comment section. By the way, let me know what you guys think about the damage. Look at the blood. Look at where it's trickling from. It's trickling from both his eyes. And um, I think his nose is perfectly fine. I think that we need to get some more blood from the nose, man. I've never really seen that much blood at the um, from the nose. Maybe we need to see more of that, man. A lot of people get blood coming down their nose and out their nostrils. So, you know, I need that. But do you guys see the swelling on the fighter, man? If you think that swelling was on par, leave it in the comment section. If you think it was too much swelling, leave it in the comment section. If you don't think it was enough swelling from all those punches he took, let me know in the comment section, man. Um, I'm actually going to use this video to give more feedback to the dev team because this was like a very, very big problem in our sessions at the UFC Game Changers events. A lot of us had a lot to say about these jabs, and I just want to, you know, clear the air about the jabs, man. So uh, let me know inside the comment section. Uh, this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace, y'all. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose Nobody want to be a fan anymore Niggas get too cool, get it? Jump in the books like the Blues Clues do Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views I'm trying to make a difference Niggas savage like there ain't no jail You killed her son, she know who did it Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail So you stuck until court You might as well just decorate your cell And your family broke That's why you send the remember